Last week on the Cow-Calf Corner, we visited with you about the length of stage two of calving. And as a reminder, we define stage two as when we first see the appearance of the water bag or the baby calf's feet, and stage two ends when the calf is completely delivered and on the ground. Today, let's visit about what happens if we allow stage two to go much longer than those averages. And what's really taking place in terms of the calf is that as that calf goes through the, the birth canal for an extended period of time, there's a situation that we call acidosis that is set up in that calf. And it's caused by the fact that the umbilical cord as the calf is passed through the birth canal is pinched off, especially during uterine contractions. So every time that umbilical cord is, is clamped off, then the calf is unable to get oxygen from the mother and to get rid of carbon dioxide going from the calf back to the mother. In that situation, over an extended period of time, then there's a buildup of carbon dioxide and its byproducts, primarily lactic acid, in the calf. And therefore, the calf's blood becomes lower in pH or acidotic, and there's where we get the term respiratory acidosis. If this becomes a, a lengthy process and this acidosis becomes very severe, then we can have the situation where it starts to compromise the health of the organs of that baby calf, including even the brain. What ranchers often call a rather unflattering term, a dummy calf. Well, chances are what's happened is that during that very long stage two of calving, that calf's brain was deprived of oxygen long enough to cause some damage. So I think this really brings out the importance of why we talk about the length of stage two being about an hour for that first calf heifer or a half an hour for the mature cow. And if they're not making real progress, then we get them up and get, uh, look to see if we can provide assistance for those, those calves. Now, I really wanna emphasize that if we have a calf that goes through a lengthy stage two and looks to be pretty sluggish, that that one's really important for us to make sure that we get colostrum or a colostrum replacer in that calf as soon as possible. Now the colostrum is important that we get it into any calf as, as early in life because the intestine will not absorb those antibodies, those disease protecting antibodies for very long. And it's especially difficult for the calf that's been through that long stage two and has this acidosis problem in terms of absorbing the antibodies in the colostrum. So it's important that we get about two quarts of natural colostrum or a full dose of colostrum replacer into those baby calves as soon as possible after they're born. And that'll give them the best chance to fend off diseases as they go through the first weeks and months of life. Keep this in mind as you work through this calving season, and I think we'll save just a few more of these calves that'll bring us a nice price next year when we take them to town at weaning time. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow-Calf Corner. <laughs>